Hello, welcome to today's video. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk to you about some horrible experiences I've had with doctors because I've had some horrible experiences with doctors. Long story short, I never really saw a doctor until I was like 23. I know what you're thinking. What? That's horrible. Yes, it's horrible, but let's move on. So the first time I went to see a doctor was for some some warts that I had on my foot. I wanted to have them frozen off or whatever. So I went in, you know, it was fine, everything was good, but then I, I made a comment about like, ooh, that one really hurt. And he was like, ah, you're doing great, but hey, at least it's not cancer. <laughs> what if I had had cancer and this walk-in clinic doctor didn't know that? That just, it feels like, he has a point. At least it's not cancer, it's fine. But. Why would you say that? That feels like horrible bedside manner. And part of this story that's very funny is a month later my mom was diagnosed with cancer. That's not funny, but, but it's kind of funny. The next experience is with yet another walk-in clinic doctor. You're gonna notice a pattern here. I only went to walk-ins for quite a while. And uh, this one walk-in clinic doctor that I saw, she prescribed me antidepressants because I was like, I'm anxious all the time. What is it that's wrong with me? Help, ah! Long story short, she got me to fill out a little questionnaire and she was like, ah yes, here's some antidepressants. <laughs> so I went back to see her semi-regularly, usually to refill the prescription. One time I mentioned something to her about a sensitive area that we'll call my butthole. And uh, she was like, okay, yeah, we'll do a rectal exam. Here, put this on and whatever, whatever on the bed. And I didn't know what she was trying to ask me to do. She had a fairly thick accent, which is fine, but because I was so anxious already about this, I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to understand what she was saying. She walked back into the room after giving me time to disrobe and then throw the sheet of paper over myself. And I was like standing in the middle of the room and I was like, uh, and she was like, well, get on the bed. So I was like, okay. And I didn't know if I was supposed to bend over it like you see on TV all the time when a dude's getting his prostate checked. I feel like they enter through the same door for that. So it makes sense. What she was trying to communicate was lay on your side, facing the wall on the bed. Seems easy, right? Well, unfortunately to an anxious mind, those, things get all scrambled and I didn't know what to do and she just stopped, heaved a deep sigh and looked at me and said, What's wrong with you? Well lady, um, my dog is even frustrated, he just sighed. I came to you to find out what's wrong with me and all you did was throw antidepressants at me and then look at my butthole. <laughs> Usually I make people buy me dinner first. Just kidding, I don't let anybody look at my butthole, so this was a bridge that got burnt very quickly. I never went back to see that doctor. <laughs> the third horrible doctor situation that I've had is I went to find a family doctor. Actually, I was making an attempt to go back to that walk-in clinic to get a refill of my prescription because it was completely out and I didn't have any pills left. So it was like, okay, I'm leaving town tomorrow. So I need these pills today. Like now it needs to happen. And apparently the walk-in doctor wasn't at the clinic. So they were like, oh, there's another medical clinic right next door, go in there. And they usually have walk-in doctors and someone should be able to take care of you. Burr, burr, burr. So I went in next door. I saw the walk-in doctor and she asked who my family doctor was and I told her my situation of <laughs> not having one. And then she asked me if I would like to consider her as my family doctor because she was accepting new patients. And I thought, wow, yeah, I'll do that. So we did the meet and greet, whatever. I chose her as my family doctor, but I shouldn't have. <laughs> Let me tell you why. So she asked me what the pills were for and I told her, well, it's for anxiety, depression type of stuff and PTSD. And before I could explain myself any further, she was like, PTSD, who diagnosed you with that? And I told her, well, I haven't been formally diagnosed yet. I've been going through therapy for roughly six months ish at that time. As of now, it's as of now, it's been a year that I've been in therapy. I told her I'm in therapy and I, I really feel like I should get checked out for this, you know. Her response to that was, well, usually we don't really call it PTSD or even talk about PTSD until it starts impacting your life. The life that you know so much about after knowing me for 45 seconds. It seemed like me having the ability to walk into her office that day 
My dog just burped. Gave away the fact that this doesn't impact my life at all. Yeah, that was awful. And she just didn't really seem to take my mental health seriously. And I asked her multiple times, can you refer me to a psychiatrist or something? Then I think she was gaslighting me. So she told me, oh, how did the appointment go with the behaviorist or something? Behavioral therapist, I think, I don't know. And I was like, what? What appointment? And she was like, I booked you an appointment. And she didn't. I checked with the receptionist out front as I was leaving and I have never missed an appointment there, so. <laughs> anyway, fast forward to now. I just found someone who I think is an amazing family doctor. She's moving away from where I live, but I am following her because a friend of mine recommended her and she seems to care. She seems to understand that mental health and physical health should be on equal ground because they both matter. <laughs> anyway, those are some awful, awful experiences I've had with doctors. And they could be a lot worse, don't get me wrong. But... <coughs> my downstairs neighbor's coming home and my, my, my dog's excited about it. Tell me in the comments if you've had any worse <laughs> situations with a doctor or any incredibly successful interactions with a doctor. I would like to know, so tell me down below, and if you feel like it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you feel like it, subscribe to this channel. And if you feel like it, come back next week. <laughs> this is my very, very well thought out outro. Bye. <laughs>